But let's get to the Pinky Doll drama. Yeah. So I don't know if people know how black people work, but we aren't the same skin shade under all lighting. Like if we hit one light in this room, my black ass is invisible. Well, it's uh, week five and we still ain't get canceled. I'm dying. Welcome back. I TMZ Welcome back. Podcast. Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know how we still ain't get canceled yet. I know. That's all I'm going to say is I know. We be saying stuff. And we need to stop. We need to stop. <laughs> we go to people like it. No, no, no. You're right. The people love us. Okay. I'm wild, by the way. I'm Steph. It's a holiday this weekend. I'm excited. What are you doing for the holiday? Um, Beach. I'm like bus, club, another club. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You need to leave your house. That's all I'm going to say. I am leaving my house this weekend. Are you going to hang out? I'm going to be dipping a little. Are you going to be hanging out with all of us? Yes. Mm. I will let you know if he does. Ah! (laughs) He doesn't. I go outside. I'm outside all the time. Anyway. I'm just not outside with y'all. So, Pinky Doll is a real person. First of all, this is the topic of the office right now. You... And not one person in this office is not talking about Pinky Doll right now. And also, not one person in this office knew who the hell Pinky Doll was, except the two of us before yesterday. So I it's looked like, at several computers this morning, 6 a.m. Pinky Doll, Pinky Doll, Pinky Doll. I go, oh. We go. And what I have to say, we actually, we, we, we talked to Pinky Doll's manager, Karma. So we, had, we were going to have Pinky Doll on last week. Some, some conflicting schedules. We had to reschedule. So we will have Pinky Doll on at some point. But let's get to the Pinky Doll drama. Yes. Um, so... I don't know if people know how black people work, but we aren't the same skin shade under all lighting. Like, if we hit one light in this room, my black ass is invisible. There's been some... Co- Stephanie is staring at me, by the way, because she's like, I don't know what to say to this. I'm just listening. Okay, so there's a controversy over the weekend because Pinky Doll, she appeared at the Streamy Awards, which... Why were we not at the Streamy Awards? I was back home in Philadelphia. That's why we were invited. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Pinky Doll went to the Streamy Awards this weekend. She was on stage presenting, and... The internet noticed that her appearance, her skin tone, skin shade was a little bit darker than it appears on her TikTok live. So if you don't know what Pinky Doll is, Pinky Doll is an NPC TikTok streamer. So NPC, that's non-playable character. These are people who go on TikTok and they do things like, and they- Basically, she can go live. You can tell her or request or pay mm-hmm. to have her do things. For example, she'll- hypothetically like an ice cream cone she'll giddy up like she's on a pony like Mm -hmm. she will do whatever you say if you pay basically so anyone who watches the live stream or her tiktok live can then gift her items so these are things like hot dogs ice cream cones correct random things and each of those things have a monetary value so people like pay her during her live streams she makes reportedly thousands of dollars on these live streams and the niche thing about it is that she acts like an npc like a video game character when she's doing these for example Mm -hmm. if someone sends an ice cream it's equal to this amount of money and then she does the act of licking the ice cream right so pinky doll biggest one of the biggest npc faces on tiktok we also have to say that there are other npc people on tiktok and social media who are like huge so pinky doll is not the first but she's one of the most popular right now Pinky Doll was at the Streamy Awards this weekend. She was on stage. She was presenting an award. But Sis was looking brown skin. Okay. Do you know what I mean by brown skin? So in Blackland, there's like light skin, mm-hmm. which is like, this is going to sound really antiquated, but like the lighter skin tone, technically like lighter than a paper bag. It's a really racist, antiquated way of measuring skin tones of black people. Okay. But Pinky Doll was like light skin in these videos or appears to be light skin in these videos. But then when you see her on the Streamy Awards, Sis is given brown okay i'm talking like caramel chocolate okay. full-blown chocolate okay social media basically lit her up they claim that she was like light skin fishing white fishing just trying to in some way minimize her blackness on these npc streams but we got pinky doll out shout out to our guy charlie cotton and we asked her like yo pinky doll are you light skin fishing are you pretending to be are you depicting yourself as a light skin lady and this is what she had to say well, you know, when I go to the sun, I can get a little darker, but you know, it's life. What can I do? And I love to be a black woman. Fuck the me. <laughs> you think they're just haters who don't get it? Yeah, I think they're just hating. Yeah, straight. It's Ma- hate. Fuck you, me. I don't think you understand how much money she's making mm-hmm. to where she does not care what anyone has not to at say. All. No. And if you look at the video, this is my opinion. Mm-hmm. If you have a ring light on, if you have, you know, different makeup on uh-huh. even, like I just don't understand how people don't I could look tanner in a photo. And the blonde hair. Like the blonde hair helps her look just lighter it's overall. It's all on camera. about but I do think it's a more heavy 
discussion in terms mm. of like, I'm sure that didn't like, I, I mean, I don't think she looks like a different person. No, she literally looks like the same person. And I, I, but let me play, let me play like devil's advocate right now. Okay. She's a whole skin complexion lighter in these TikTok lives than she is in person. Okay. Which, back to your point, the ring light is on. I'm just saying there's a ring light here in the office. And if I turn it up to max, I invisible. will be invisible. We go Casper. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> for sure. Like, so I'm going to take her side on this in but more ways than one. Don't most people look different in, in different person lighting. than they do online? Yeah. I'm like. I don't think she's caffeinated. I think she looks the same. She just looks like a different. And also, what kind of lighting was at this awards? That's we need to be contacting problem, right? the streamies <laughs> what fluorescent lighting was occurring there and really get mad at them. Maybe it was too dark. I feel like we all do this, though. Like, we all have, like, a like a social media presence, which might differ a little bit than our Insta like, our like real Like, if you presence. go to my Instagram right now, I bet you I'm not every single shade the same. We go, let me pull up my Instagram right now. I'm sure mine is, actually. You know what I mean? And if I look different at the hell all. No, I feel like this is just a heavier topic of discussion, though, because for people to be focusing on the shade of her skin versus mm -hmm. like what's actually occurring at the streamies, like it's just insane. And then for her to be asked about, you know, she's the hottest person right now Without in terms of money, in yep. terms of fame. And it just it's so typical it's very, that we're talking about this. All I'm saying is people need to mind their business. OK, last thing on Pinky Doll, and then I'm over it. Why are people on the internet acting like they don't yell at their kids? I saw this and I won't lie. I think if my mom was doing some sort of like Zoom back in the day, like if they had like an at home work mm -hmm. thing, I never saw my mom work from home. But like if I did and I came running in, she would have yelled at me. And said the same, get your mother. Like, yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about, play the clip right down and you'll hear Pinky Doll. She breaks character and talks to her child. Oh, thank you, baby. This is so cute. <laughs> Mmm, ice cream so good. Hey, hi, yes. You got me feeling like a cowgirl. Let me run out of time. Oh, thank you, baby. This is so cute. Go sit your ass down. Go. Go. You don't spit on the dog. You don't spit on the dog. Go. Go. I don't see the problem with that. I will say I don't like the spitting on the dog, but yeah, exactly. I agree don't with spit her. spit on the dog? Yeah. I want to pop my kid. Also, this is her job. This is her job. She's I'm going to give her a little bit of... I hope she doesn't do it all the time to where she, I'm sure she spends quality time with her child. Right, right. But this is work time for mom. And if you come running in or start spitting on the dog, as she said, like yeah. I would get yelled at too. Yeah, I don't know why you're not teaching y'all kids to be like appropriate functioning human beings in society. But if you interrupt some shit. Now, if this was every clip of her mm -hmm. and we saw this weekly right. and, we, and again, we don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Right, we don't. Right. But in terms of this is his mom's job. Or the, this is the child's, what, is it a boy or a girl? Oh, it's a boy, a boy. Okay. This is her job. And if you're the child coming in, mm -hmm. you're going to get yelled at no matter what. You're going to get yelled at. Right. What's the worst thing you've ever done as a child that you got yelled at for or in trouble for? Um, I had my first kiss at my mom's job. How old were you? Um, 14. Slut. It's like, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, and uh, for reference, it was... Uh, you shouldn't be kissing people at your mom's work. Yeah. Also, fourteen. I'm An joking. Another I'm joking. mom. Another mom brought her son, and I was like, "Bingo!" <gasps> wait. <laughs> Not you making a love connection at your mom's job. Was, wait, maybe it was twelve. Uh, twelve or fourteen. You should have kept it at fourteen. I, <laughs> <laughs> one of the two. Uh, I think the craziest thing I've done that I've ever gotten in trouble for was. So when I was young, we used to do like a lot of just like unnecessarily bad stuff because we were young kids. In the club. Yeah, like young kids, you're bored. Mm -hmm. What else are you going to do when you're young? We also didn't have like technology back in the day, y'all. So there Literally. was no scrolling on TikTok when we were like eight. So. I had to beg to go on Barbie.com. No, it's so and <laughs> no, it's so bad. Um, so me and my cousins, we decided to set a mattress on fire. And that... The I know was Teresa was a blaze. I mean, y'all like pissed. called the fire department and it was in the alley, like a back. Okay, I don't know if y'all have y'all okay. had this in LA. Mom, it's like mine's alleyways. looking pretty good right now. <laughs> I was grounded for a whole summer Wait. for kissing at her work. No, me and my cousins, we literally set a mattress on fire. They had to call the fire department. I hope my mom watches it. Was this. Like, I'm gonna send this to her. It was insane. Were you and grounded? Got, how long were you grounded for? Let's I got compare. my ass whooped. But how long were you grounded for? Oh, uh, I think it was only like a day, honestly. I got grounded for a whole summer. For being a hoe. I was <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I just can't. Yeah, no. I um 
Yeah, my mom. But what I'm saying ass. is, I think our moms were strict. Yeah, no, my mom whooped my ass, and then my dad came and like did the look. Dad oh thing. my god, wait, this is a perfect example. I went to my mom's work. I got in trouble. He's at his mom's work right now and got in trouble. I want to know what Alex Earl's going to be doing this weekend, honestly, because she, you know she's going to be having a good time. Uh, she better. But I also want to talk about the fact that everyone on TikTok is talking about how she might be having a reality show with her family. They've been hashtagging Earl girls. They've she's been seen with you know a mic pack on, which you know inst like mm -hmm. to me that means. TV show. Right. And as we know, she's recently signed to Alex Cooper's new network called Unwell. And they posted on their Instagram that new shows are coming in September. So to me, that means new show. Another thing is a Isn't lot this of like the Dixie D'Amelio formula. I think it's giving more like people on TikTok are saying it's giving more Kardashian energy. It's literally the same thing as the D'Amelios. No, D'Amelios do not have the same energy. They try as, to have that energy, though. But I think Alex and her family will succeed. Why? Because they have the you same money, elements Caucasian. as... Well, there's a girl called, girl called Girl <laughs> Boss Town on TikTok, yes. and she had like a whole breakdown on uh, how she relates the Kardashians to the Earl family. Okay. And what I'm saying is the dad is also famous, just mm -hmm. like Robert Kardashian, because of the scandal that happened in 2008 from the resignation of... Elliot Spitzer from public office. That was a huge scandal. Who's her dad again? Her dad is TJ Earl. Mm -hmm. Who is a? Married to a girl that was involved in the resignation of the New York governor, Governor Elliot Spitzer. Gotcha. I think that's how you pronounce it. So that was a huge scandal back okay. in 2008. And you know how Kim Kardashian's family had the scandal with, you know. Well, it was a murder trial. Is that what, what you're I'm talking saying? about? <laughs> I, second I said scandal, yeah, I was I like, mm, murder. Someone died. Right. That's Two a scandal. People. Big scandal. So this Alex Earl girl, first of all, explain to people, if you haven't, there's a pretty good chance you've seen Alex Earl's face on the internet, but as you probably don't know her name. She's a really attractive. She's the most popular person yeah. on TikTok by far. And she, I'm just telling you, she's going to be the equivalent of Kim Kardashian in a few years. Her family is the same exact energy, I'm telling you. And the fact that she grew overnight success with TikTok and everything she posts becomes viral, every single video, every she's just the mm -hmm. mega influencer. And when everyone saw this mic pack on her on a recent TikTok, they thought reality show with Alex Cooper and her new network. Okay. I don't really have, I don't, we have very different TikTok explore pages. Right. I have I didn't know who Alex Earl was until we were talking about her one day in the office. Alex Earl is the epitome of a girl's girl and definitely is not on your For You page. Okay, give me an equivalent of a person who I would know that's like Alex Earl. And for the people out there who may not know who Alex Earl, like who is There's he? no equivalent. She okay. can do no wrong, like genuinely. Wow. The, the, everyone loves her. There's okay. not one hater on the block. I'm genuinely her up now, yo. okay Don't worry. but seriously everyone loves her everything she touches turns to gold she's like seems really genuine and sweet haven't met her but mm. she's also really fun it looks like on tiktok because she's <laughs> out all the time and you like fun people you i know, think you she's love her. really fun me trying to make wild love alex earl yeah no probably not i think you would i mean i'm excited for alex earl's potential future doing the unwell network i'm sorry i just i don't get it that's oh, okay. I do. And that's why we're and that's why we're friends. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Adele and then we're out of here. Okay. Basically, what happened is Adele had a show in Vegas and everyone is sitting down except mm -hmm. this one guy who has some sort of tripod or like a selfie stick situation and he's filming himself. Mm -hmm. That is typically normal at like a regular concert, but because it's Adele kind of like symphony vibes, it's I would also guess a Vegas residency and not a regular concert. Correct. It's important. So everyone's sitting down and he's the only one standing. Eventually, someone from the crowd that's also watching goes, everyone is noticing that you're standing mm -hmm. up. You know, he's really excited to be there. He's crying. He's like excited to be there. And a woman comes up and confronts him and says, everyone's upset that you were standing. And then you want to take it from there? It's given clout chase. So the woman comes up. She goes, everyone is upset. Can't, so she goes, can't you see everyone's upset? And she like... Guide some his ass back down in his chair. And then a few songs later, he gets right back up again and then just returns to his normal antics. But, okay. In his defense. I'm on are, his side. Oh, you're on his side? Just Oh, we can fight about okay, this. Okay, tell, tell me why. 
I'm on his side because they can also stand up. I don't think he should have been maybe like profusely crying. Screaming? Screaming. At one point he passed out? Right. But maybe he's that excited to see her. Okay. If Lana Del Rey did a con- I hope Lana Del Rey sees this. Like, <laughs> if you have a concert, I'm going to be crying. I don't think the antics of the drama with the selfie stick is good. That is mm-hmm. the one thing I will say that's super, I mean, a selfie stick is like, I don't know what exactly Obnoxious, thing yeah. he had, but that was the obnoxious part. Right. I think the crying and the standing up, we are at a concert. I do think maybe it was like out of pocket, maybe look around, be aware of your surroundings. Right. I probably wouldn't do it. I would just be profusely crying in my just seat. Going through the motions. But what I'm saying is the only part that I don't agree with is like the selfie stick or like filming yourself for it because then it, it gives off either clout chasing or unnecessary. Unnecessary. So I actually thought the selfie stick was not the problem. The problem for me was the literal screaming. Like, and we'll play a little bit of it here. Why are you screaming, bro? So I would say I've gone to an Adele show, a concert, not a not the Las Vegas residency. residency. I went to a legitimate. It was the 31 tour. So it was a few years ago. And the only song that people I mean, there are a few songs, I guess, rolling in the deep. Um, rumor has it is another one that's a little boppy. But the one song that she expects people to stand up for and dance is Water Under the Bridge. And that is one of the songs in the video that he's singing around and dancing to. And that's also the point when Adele stops the security, which is super important because everyone's like, Adele was defending this guy. So that's what I want to get to. Mm -hmm. I'm obviously on this guy's side because as the performer, Adele seemed to have no issue with him being that excited and profusely crying and filming himself. And at the end of the day, it, I don't care if there's 50 million people in that room. Mm. She's kind of the only opinion that matters in that room. And she seemed to, I mean, she, you can see in the clip, she says it's fine. Right. But the point where she says it's fine and she actually notices what's happening is during Water Under the Bridge. So that is the song that she wants people to be like. So you up think and she didn't dancing. notice? I don't think she realized that there was chaos happening prior to that song being played because at the concert that I went to, she did the exact same thing in Philadelphia. There were two girls that were up. They left their seats. They came all the way up to like the rail of the barricade and they were out of their seats just like jamming. And security guard went to stop them and she goes, Hey, don't stop those two girls. This is the only song you can dance to. And then you got to sit back down. And that's what she told the crowd. And then they like, we laughed and she continued on with the show this is the thing she does okay but especially this, for this song the problem with the story is we need everyone's pov i need the security's pov ah. i need the people <laughs> behind adele behind the concert's pov i need the people right next to him pov i need the people in the nosebleeds we go craft services because i need to know everyone's perspective because it does change the storyline it changes it because if she only saw him standing through that and not screaming profusely crying during like you don't need then, to cry like that during when we were young but if she didn't see it what you're going with uh-huh. and only saw during that one I think, lively I think that's song. What happened. I think she can clearly has eyes. She can see him crying, screaming. She was fine with it. Okay. Also, I've never been to like a low key concert before. So I'm probably not the best person to ask for this. But if I had to say, if it's my favorite artist, mm-hmm. I don't think it's necessary to film yourself doing it because it could no. be distracting, yeah. especially if it was sort of a selfie six situation. Um, but if you're crying, I can't control my emotions. You know, at the Adele show, you stand for like three songs. So the first one, okay, that's good Water Under the Bridge, to know. and typically the last one. Hello from me. Not that one? That's always, that's always the first one. You wouldn't stand for that? that? Yeah, but that's the first song. She comes out saying, hello. And then everybody goes, ah! And that's it, though. And then everyone sits. And then everyone goes back to their regularly scheduled program. Maybe we change the concert vibe altogether. Uh, Maybe she goes, everyone, stand up. Ah! You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's on you at that point. Adele, you need to be more strategic about what you want from your people. Taylor Swift will literally be like, sing this bridge with me now. I'm drunk in the back of the car. <laughs> and I cry like, like a baby, baby coming home from the bar. You know what I mean? No, I get you. We need to I be more. You. you know, Adele needs to. Spice it up. Everyone in the room needs to be more straightforward with their expectations. Who's your favorite artist? Don't even ask that. We know. Taylor Swift. I did not know that. Lana Del Rey. Do y'all know Stephanie went to the Taylor Swift concert a couple weeks ago? Seven times. Okay. I'm joking. How many times did you go? Tell the people. Don't incriminate me like this. How many? Three times. Was it the same show every time? Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to say no. I'm like, they always say it's a different show as if she's singing the same damn songs. I I think it's the same, but I had the best time. A was different it, experience every time. Was it time. magical? Yeah, it was magical. Was it life-changing? Yes. 
do you feel like you'll recover? These are literally words that I'm asking because people are like, I, have, I will never recover from this moment. Um, I will recover. Okay. When I see her again. But I will miss her. That's so fucking dramatic. No, literally. It was so good. She, you could, it was such a good, anyone who went to the Taylor Swift concerts, you know I'm not being dramatic. It was really great. There's kind of this thing of people being like, Taylor Swift or Beyonce. No, you can't compare those two. You can't compare the two because the answer is obviously Beyonce. I am not going to argue this because I don't even know what I would pick. I go, pick right now. You only, Beyonce. you have $1,000. Oh, okay. I only get to go to one concert. You only get to go to well, one Beyonce, concert. Well, Beyonce because I just went to Taylor Swift. Oh, no, that don't count. I mean, in general, you only get, you only got $1,000. It's January 1st, 2023. Both of them are coming this summer. You haven't gone to Taylor. You still go to Taylor Swift? Did I not go already? The bar is on the floor with y'all in this Taylor Swift show. It's really hard to compare those two. That's because, because I love that's because it's not comparable. And no one wants to admit the fact that Taylor Swift is not. The first thing I just said was that they're uncomparable. You can't compare the two. I feel like people be acting like Taylor Swift be doing anything other than walking around without tripping over her feet. Like, I would never compare the two. And it's how she walks. Also, like, are they like, even in the same lane? You got that James Dean Jay. Like, as opposed to, I'm a, a, the, uh, I'm a, like. The first thing you asked me, I want everyone uh, to remember, uh, is that uh, he asked me if you had to choose. And I said, I can't compare those two. Oh, you did. I'm just yelling at. I'm. I'm. I'm You're arguing at the with comments? the people. Okay. I'm arguing Let's with the people. Let's make that clear then, because I can't choose. I love them both. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if y'all hear a lot of banging situation happening sorry. during the show, it's because Stephanie decided she was really angry today and she wanted to bang the shit out of me. I'm desk. angry at that question. Okay. You got a question for me? I do. If you could meet any TikToker, who would it be? This is gonna be good. Oh, there's this guy named Calvin Grimes, okay. and I fucking love him. What does he do? He does these, like, random videos where he walks up to people in a grocery store and asks them for, like, random shit. Like, he'll be like, hey, feed me that grape. And <laughs> the, like, old person will, like, feed him a grape. Or he'll be like, I make wigs. Can I try this wig on you? And he'll, like, physically take the person's wig off and, like, put a new wig on. It's the... Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the world. After. No, that's my favorite TikTok person. I, I thought I you wouldn't have, you'd be like, I don't have one. Oh my god. No. Okay. Who's your favorite TikTok? If you could meet any TikTok person and you better say Earl. Alex. <laughs> Ow, you can't say that. All right, well, we gotta get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Yes, and as you're watching, like you should download the podcast. We gotta tell the people how to support the show without download the podcast, like, subscribe, comment, and if you ask a question, maybe we'll reply. Yes. Um, so your favorite podcast app, add us to your favorite show. So it's not, I mean, downloading is great and listening is great, but like add us to your show. So you just have to. If you want us to keep this going, you better get to downloading. If you don't want us to be canceled. That's gotta, what I'm saying. No, add us to your favorite shows, rate us, write a review, tell us how much you love us, how much you don't. Talk about Stephanie's what you want Coke us to eyes. Change? Talk about my ponytail. Like, I don't know. Literally talk to us. And See you next episode. Bye.